Hi blog buddies. Let's talk about sex. Let's talk about sex, baby. Let's talk about you and me. Let's talk about sex, baby. I will be the first one to admit that of all my expertises, sex is not one of them. Uh, I don't really know that much about it. I'm still learning. I feel like I'm in a dark room and I'm like trying to find a light switch or something. I'm like, oh, 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 okay, this is a wall. This, this, oh, okay. I really don't know that much about sex. I know that there's the missionary position. I know the, the rusty trombone. I know the frothy walrus. There's the cheerleader and the angry night watchman. There's the 30 minute insertion, also known as the TMI. There's the backdoor mailman and the angry dog. There's the double kangaroo sloppy pocky. The upward tunnel excavation. The I hate mayo. Of course, there's the pickled parrot, the two-headed crab. Oh, and, and who could forget the would you like fries with that? So beyond all of that, what is there to sex and how can we improve it? Since I'm not an expert, I put the question to a bunch of you guys. And uh, these are the comments that I got on my blog. The question was, what's your best sex tip? Okay, so our first comment here is don't have a clock nearby. Sex shouldn't be timed. And if he's boring, you may look at it a lot too. So I agree with that to a certain extent because if you're getting paid by the hour, you might wanna you might wanna keep track of those minutes. And our next comment is from <laughs> our next comment from Kyle says, always get the money up front. That's also good too. Of course, this segment is sex tips, not prostitution tips. So let us move on. Phil's going all for it. Phil says, get your partner on all fours, head down, arch your back, ass in the air, bury your face. <laughs> I don't know if I can say this on YouTube. Bury your face into his woohoo and eat that ass like there's no tomorrow. Mix it up a bit, spit, speed, tongue movement, and if your tongue is long enough, you can even penetrate him with it. And he continues. But we'll leave it on that note. Yes, Phil, I think that is some excellent advice. Um, and I encourage you blog buddies to try that at home. Chad says, don't ignore the balls. No matter what you're doing, Keep one hand softly touching and teasing the balls. You know what? If I had a mantra in life, it would be don't ignore the balls. Haven't I said that? If I said it, if I've said it once, I've said it a million times. Don't ignore the balls. So oh no tells us never treat a trick like a never treat a trick like a trick. Never treat a trick like a trick. Okay, I've got it. I've got it. That makes sense. And again, plays into karma. What goes around comes around, right? Right? And it plays into the Halloween theme as we're getting closer to the end of the month. It's clever. It's a clever one. So what would my sex advice be? So I think that my best advice, my best sex tip would be to uh, let go of expectations and uh, try to stay present in the moment and go with stuff as it unfolds. Um, let your inhibitions down. Feel the rain on your skin because no one else can feel it for you. I don't know the rest of the words. I think it's also important to know what turns you on. Actually, I just needed to put the light on and I was trying to think of a fun way to do it because uh, it's getting a little dark in here. Really wish I'd have broken this down into two categories. If I was a bit more professional, I would have, where it's sex with someone you love and so that would be masturbation. No, I'm kidding. That would be like hooking up with your boyfriend um, or partner or what have you. And then the other category would be like sex with someone you don't love, like a hookup with a stranger or like someone that you met at the club or what have you. Because I think there's probably two different routes. When you're hooking up with someone, it's just like a hookup. Uh. When you're having sex with just like a hookup, I think that's generally about just getting you off. It's not really about the other person. Maybe it is for some of you, but it's not for me. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm not kidding. But when you're having sex with another person uh, that that you actually care about, like a boyfriend, someone that you're dating, you know, your significant other, girlfriend, if there's some straights out there, um, then it's a little bit different. Then it's not really about you. It's a, it's about the other person. Well, it's it's about connecting with that person. It's about like merging your spirits and souls and all that good stuff and. 
to be honest with you, I'm just not there yet. That's that's the stuff that really interests me. That's what makes sex spectacular. And I've I've done the other stuff, but you know, it's crossing that bridge into the like holy shit sex that um that I really look forward to and I think that's the stuff. That's the stuff. So uh so if you have any good sex tips that we didn't cover, um then feel free to Leave it as a little comment here on YouTube. If you're on my blog, then do what you do. Do what you do. And I hope that your night is fucking fantabulous. And I look forward to seeing you really soon. And, uh, peace out. Sloppy Joe. Oh,